I'm Christina, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. Today we are here to discuss a long overdue order, uh, my, the rest of my wool warehouse order that came from the voucher, uh, well, the one voucher, but split into multiple parts. That I got from Lisa at Ladybird Loves for her birthday giveaway in December. So every year she has a big birthday bash in December and there's giveaways and laughs and well lots of laughs. It's always a ton of fun and you should definitely go check it out. If you have not gone over there already, uh, please, please do go check Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves out. Uh, so I've been waiting. If you don't know the story, uh, if you're new, uh, when I won, she had to split the vouchers up because the way that wool warehouse vouchers work, you can just set the amount that you want. There's preset amounts. So, uh, yeah, she had to split it up. And so I had to split up my order, which was completely fine. I didn't mind that at all. Uh, but Right about that time that I put in my order, Royal Mail was hacked. So everything going out internationally was delayed, halted, paused, whatever you want to call it. So I called sometime in February, right about the time that it was should have gotten here. It was like maybe a week after that, I hadn't seen it or anything like that. And the thing is, unless you pay extra for it, you don't get it tracked. Royal Mail does not track the shipment. So you have to pay, I think it's for DHL. And unfortunately for me, at least from what I tried to look at, because I am on a military base, I can't get it from DHL. Now I could always try again. Maybe I pushed the wrong button is possible but I didn't see where I could get it express um, and plus having to break it up into three orders I would have had to pay for three separate express shipments so I was I tried the first time I couldn't get it to figure out so I was like ah, I'm just not gonna worry about it it'll be fine if it comes it comes if not hey they will give me my money back right so when I called them they said that because of the hack, I would have to wait nine weeks to um, get, like, put in for reimbursement or whatever. Sorry, I am watching my cat because I have stuff on the stove and I don't want him to jump up and try to get it. Huh. You have to stay away from the stove. I'm talking to you. You want to come say hi to the people so they don't think I'm crazy and talking to myself? No. He's content to sit right there and make me look crazy. Yeah? You going to stay there? Or you want to come up? You want to come? No? Okay. No. I tried. What, you want up? Do you want up? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come say hello. There we go. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, buddy. Say hello. Say hello. There's no food up here. The food's over there, silly. It's over there, silly. You see? He's smelling. He wants the food. <laughs> All right, again, not why you're here. Last time, it was like four minutes in, and I still hadn't shown you anything. So I uh, 
used this order and I'm so excited because uh, one of the other things that Lisa does on her channel is yarn reviews and specifically British, UK, English yarns. Uh, she tries to highlight those. So she showed this yarn a while back and I'll go back and see if I can find the video and I'll try to link that either here um, or at least in the description box because one of these yarns she showed recently and I was like, I have to get some of that, but I'm not going to show you that one first. I'm going to show you this one. Uh, the other thing that I got with my order with my gift certificates was, uh, the yarn umbrella or the, the Swift as you guys call it. So this is one part of what I ordered. Now, this is not the yarn that I'm talking about that she showcased. While she probably has showcased this one, I have not seen that particular video. Lisa, if you're watching and you have shown this one, feel free to let me know and I will link that video also. But this one is the Stylecraft um, Cotton DK. Right? It's the classic cotton. And this is in the color three, five, six, seven, or plum, right? I have something um, specific that I need to do, but okay, he got away, he ran away. So I am uh, going to be using this. I got 10 of them because I need to do something with it. That will come soon, but uh, this is great. Um, I mean, I guess you could use it for garments, but I mean, I'm going to open it just because, um, but it is more so like a kitchen cotton, okay, but it's a beautiful plum color. This is pretty true to what, maybe a little bit lighter because of the really bright light, but um, that's pretty true to what is here in front of me. I got 10 of those. And again, the um, order that, or the gift certificate that I got broken up didn't pay for all of this this was it definitely helped though so I say that because this next set that I got is quite a bit so uh, I don't know if I think they did it I don't really know how they did it but I'm gonna get them both out because I haven't I, I opened these right before I did the video but I didn't actually look at them to see what was there but I think they packaged it yeah they did okay so I <laughs> well just show you <laughs> this is what I got <laughs> okay so there are three colors in each I think three colors in each so let's see I'm going to get the invoice out just to make sure. Oh, it's ripped all the pieces. Yeah, okay, so they put three in each one. So get this out. Put that down there. And I'll get these out. So what I got was the Drops Bell Unicolor. And this is uh, a 53% cotton, 33% viscose, 14% linen mix. Now, I love natural fibers, and so I was like, I have to get some of this. Um, but you guys, I didn't just get one, two, three... I got it in six different colors. <laughs> I got it in six different colors. <laughs> now, I only got, um, I got 10 of each because they come in 50 gram balls, right? And uh, I just got a new house. Uh, well, not, I didn't buy it, but I'm living in a new place, obviously, right? So I have three different um, bathroom areas um, that I need to put things in. 
and I have a kitchen. So I was like, I want to make my kitchen items. Uh, the less that I have to buy, the better. Sorry, I'm drinking some tea because it is evening for me. This is a cup. Um, it's a handcrafted cup that I got from Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, one year uh, during COVID, we took a spring break trip to Asheville. And did all of the outdoor nature things. There's a set of seven different waterfalls that we hiked to. Uh, we did the botanical gardens. I did some yarn shopping too. I did videos on that, but one of the places that we visited had some really lovely pottery and I have two um, cups specifically from that trip. So anyway, oh, I got this because I was going to show you the colors because the colors are not printed on here. So I'm going to read this, but I'm going to, I'm going to read this one, but I'm going to show you this one. All right. So it is a 53% cotton, 33% viscose, 14% linen mix. As I already said, it's 50 grams. Um, are 1.8 ounces, 120 meters, or 131 yards. Actually, I'll just hold all of these up so you can see all how pretty they are. Let me move it back a little bit. There we go. Um, you can use a four millimeter needle or hook. Um, and this colorway, while I throw the yarn at you, the one that hit the camera, shame on you. This one is dandelion. This is color four. This is dandelion. Uh, this one. This one is zinc. It's a very pretty uh, dark gray color. Yeah, zinc. Have those two here. The next one, uh, this is color seven. This one is color 12 and it is cherry. This one is, uh, there we go. That's probably true. This is very, very blown out and bright. All right. Also because my face is in the picture. Yeah. But if I hold it up here, that red, that's more true to color. Uh, so we have four, seven, twelve. Let's see if I can make yarn fingers. All right. Then we have color twenty, which is a navy blue. Again, yeah, it's about my sweater color, a little bit darker. Yeah, navy blue. Put it on there. <laughs> Uh, and then this one is mint cream, color 23. I mean, you can see a little bit of green in it, but this really looks more like a sand color to me. But I didn't name it. It's not my job. Mint cream. Put that one on my finger. Ha, 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 ha. And then the last one, which I don't have six fingers on one hand. This is color number 25, Forest Brown. Forest Brown. Now that is very, very blown out. It is very much darker than that. Let's see how far. Nah. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. So if you look at the orange on my sweater here, I'll do it this way. Kind of give you a different pop of color there. So that is what I got in addition to the Stylecraft DK uh, cotton in the color plum. So let me get one of those. All right, and so I got 10 of each. Um, I believe this is a, doesn't say if it's a, it says yarn group B doesn't say if it's a DK or four weight or anything like that. I would assume it's closer to a DK just because if I look at this and I look at this, they're about the same. 
right? This one is wound more tightly than this one. This one is going to um, probably split a little more, but that's the, the linen and the cotton mix, and I, I understand that. So, um, yeah, that's what I got from the lovely Ladybird Loves, Miss Elisa. So thank you so much, Elisa. I had a ton of fun. I'm so excited to use the things that I got. I'm glad it all finally got here in one piece. And I'm going to hop off here, go check my dinner, and have a couple more things to film. So you'll probably see this again, but it'll probably be after I eat. So... I don't know when you'll see them. I'm going to film them all today because this is the time that I have, right? As they say here, va bene, va bene. It is what it is, right? All good, all good, va bene. Uh, so, as always, be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. See you again soon. Ciao, bella.